Adventures in Murfreesboro is produced in cooperation with Murfreesboro City Schools. Jumping high, 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 a real life cousin of my Uncle Sam, born on the 4th of July. Good morning, Murph. Uh, you sound chipper today. Oh, good morning, John. I am happy. It's a beautiful summer day. So, what have we got planned for today's show? Are we going to eat a watermelon? Oh, oh, I just got that from my garden, dude. Oh, nice. Yeah, ma maybe, maybe in a day or two, yeah. but I've got a different kind of treat for you today. Ooh, a treat. Uh -huh. What is it? Your favorite, a road trip. Road trip? Yeah! Yeah! So where are we headed? Oh, we are headed over to the Wilderness Station at Barfield Crescent Park. Oh, it's so pretty out there. Oh, yeah, it's a great place to visit. Did you know that they have disc golf out there? Of course. Oh, I want to learn how to play that. You should, Murph. It's a lot of fun. So, is that what we're going to do today? Oh, no, no. Today we are learning about lasagna. Yeah. Lasagna? <laughs> we're going to Barfield Crescent Park to learn about lasagna? <laughs> I mean, I know some restaurants that could teach us a thing or two about lasagna, <laughs> but a park? Oh, John, John, John. You have got to open your mind, dude. Get ready for new things. Well, I'm ready for any kind of lasagna. Can they come too? Oh, absolutely. Hey, guys. Everybody, I am so excited because I am here with my friend, Miss Jennifer. Hi, Miss Jennifer. Good morning. Oh, we are here at the Wilderness Station at Barfield Crescent Park. And I'm so excited, Miss Jennifer, <laughs> because you invited me to visit your garden. <laughs> you know, gardens are my very favorite thing. What are we growing here? We, uh, we're growing several things. We're growing right in front of us is the cucumber patch. Oh, love you me like a good that. cucumber, yeah. We also have some green beans oh, and yeah. some tomatoes oh, yum, yum, and yum, yum, yum. sunflower seeds. Oh, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> awesome. And all of this just for little old me, right? <laughs> Uh, well, some of it is for you, <laughs> um, but we also have some animals here at the Wilderness Station that uh, are rescues, rescues, and we um, are going to feed them also. Oh, well, isn't that just dandy? No, oh, that's really good. I'm <laughs> glad that the rescues are going to get this fresh-grown food. Wow, this is a great project. So you're growing your own food to support the little rescues. So what animals do you have here, Miss Jennifer? Well, we have um, a rescue owl. Oh, I'll be glad to see that. <laughs> to get my joke. <laughs> okay, an owl. What else? Um, some snakes. Oh. And we have um, turtles. Oh, that's cool. And, and various other animals that we just rescue in the wild when they're hurt and then try to get them back out if we can. Oh, that's awesome. And they're going to have some of this yummy food. Yes, they've already enjoyed our, um, our cool weather crops. The lettuce and uh -huh. spinach and radishes. So we planted that first oh. and then took it all out and put the warm weather crops in that we have right now. Oh, you know what I heard, Miss Jennifer? <laughs> I heard that you all were growing lasagna. Well, not exactly. Um, it's a type of garden. We're growing a type of garden. And the reason it's called lasagna is because it's layered. Oh, okay, 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 I got it. Like, like lasagna. It's layered Ex like lasagna. Exactly. Oh, what, exactly. what are some of the layers? We usually start with a base layer of either cardboard or newspaper or organic things you have around the house. Right. 
and that helps with the weeds so they don't come through. Uh -huh. And then you put peat moss and you do um, really a lot of things, leaves you can find in the yard. Right. And you can use your compost that you're going to use from your compost bin, uh -huh. right? Right. Uh -huh. And you just keep layering, 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 and then you leave it throughout the fall and winter. Uh -huh. And it mixes all together and becomes this great, great um, organic matter. That you organic were planting. matter, organic. I, does that mean living, like living matter? Right, right. Oh. Living and from nature. From nature. nature. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And why do we do that? Why would you do all those layers just to make the soil nice and rich? Right. It's very rich. It has great vitamins and things that the plants love to grow oh. in. Oh, okay. It makes it a lot easier to weed. Also, it's a very beautiful, rich soil. That's so cool. I can't wait to, oh, I can't wait for everything to get nice and ripe and ready and oh, yum, 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 yum. This is gonna be so much fun. Oh, Miss Jennifer, how did all this happen, this wonderful garden? It was a project of the Better Borough and uh -huh. it's for the wilderness station. We saw that they needed, you know, to feed the animals and yeah. instead of going to the grocery store all the time, let's go ahead and build it. Let's go ahead and grow it. What a great um, idea. Oh, Miss Jennifer, what exactly is the Better Borough Project? Uh, the Better Borough Project is the mayor's um, way to help us stay healthy. Wow! Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. It's a project with three different parts. Uh -huh. One of them is a nutritional part. So oh, means, that's important, isn't it? Good nutrition. Mm -hmm. The food you eat, the food that you grow, where you get it from, um, and, and different things about your food uh, that you eat. Right, 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 right. What's the next part? The second portion is a community. So, oh, that's, that's all the folks around us, right? Mm -hmm. Helping your community reduce, reuse, and then recycle. Right. Also, the fact of volunteerism is very healthy for your oh, community. Oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, we are the volunteer state, right? That's right. That's right. And the third one is a wellness or fitness. So oh. get out there and walk or run. Or, or hop. Go to or hop. Hopping is good. <laughs> so movement. You want to move. Move, move. Well, this so move. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> That's right. Oh, this is so cool. I like the way the Better Borough Project sounds. Very important stuff there. Very good for wellness. Very good. It's been so great talking to you, Miss Jennifer. Thank you for taking the time. And will you give me a call when this stuff is ready? I'll do it, Murph. I'll do it. I can't <laughs> wait to come back and <laughs> eat it all up. Yeah, yeah. Bye now. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. Yeah, but now I'm hungry for lasagna. Say, Marv, what are you doing over there? I'm getting out some beans and rice for our next activity. Ooh, are we going to eat rice and beans? <laughs> no, not this time. You are hungry, John. I am, but I can wait. Okay. So what are we going to do if we're not going to eat the rice and beans? Well, we're going to play a game, but first we have to make the pieces. Okay, tell me what to do. We are going to take little bags. You see the little bags over there? Yeah. You're going to, you can use any kind of little bag. You can use a Ziploc or a twist tie. But mm -hmm. then we're going to put some either some dried beans or some rice or you can use dried popcorn, anything like that. And put, I don't know, a cup, about a cup into the little bag. Okay. Make some room. Okay, Murph. I think I'll use the rice. Oh, good idea. Good idea. See that little cup? There you go. I see. So two cups? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a half a cup measure. So, uh, so that's one make, cup. You know, two of those make one I got regular it. cup. Yeah. All right. Good. Doing a little math there. Yeah, that's right. You know, this game, we can practice our math too. Oh, that's a good idea, Murph. Yeah, yeah. That way we'll be ready when school starts again. All right. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I bet you wonder how many we should make, right? Yes, Marv, how many should we make? Well, that depends on how many people are playing. Since it's just us today, maybe three or four each. How about three? Uh, sounds good, Marv, I've got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, got it, okay. Well, this is gonna be so fun. And the cool thing about this game is you can play it just about anywhere. That's you can play it inside, outside. You can have lots of different people or just a couple of people. And you can even do it by yourself and practice your mad tossing beanbag skills. Oh, so we're making beanbags. So 
Sort of, but ours is rice bags. Rice bags, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because we're special. That's right. That's it. That's, that's it. right. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that looks good. Okay, what do we do next? Now, you see those little paper plates? I see them. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to mark some numbers on it. Okay. Now, let me tell you about the numbers. You can play this lots of different ways. You can just put, um, you can count by twos and go two, four, six, eight. Who, who do we, we appreciate? appreciate? Murph, Murph, Murph. Or, <laughs> I, like, <laughs> I like the way he jumped right in there. Yeah. And there's a rabbit joke for you. I, I like that rabbit yeah, yeah. joke. Okay. You're and, on the ball today. Yeah, yeah. Or you can do it by tens, 10, 20, and so on. Right. Or you can do it like we are doing it today, one through 10. Okay, so you want me to put one through ten on the plates. That's exactly right. All righty. Let's help him. One. One. Two. two three, three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Ten. Oh, Yay. Yeah. There's our number ten right there. Oh, that's perfect. So now that we've got our plates done and our rice bags done, what do we do next? Well, we need to get a, like a pad so we can keep score. That's a good idea, Murph. And I think I've got one right over here. Okay, we'll get that and we'll go outside and play the game. How about that? so good. Oh, guys, come play with us. This yeah. will be fun. Are you ready to play the game? I see you've got the plates laid out all ready for us. I've done just like you wanted me to, Murph. Now, how do we play this game? Okay, we take our little rice bag yeah. and we try to toss it into the plates. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. And, and whatever number you land on with your rice bag, right. that's how many points you get. Oh, And okay. whoever gets the most points, and that'll be Wins. me, dude. That's the winner. <laughs> that's gonna be the winner, yeah, absolutely. Right. You ready to go? Let's get started, Murph. Yeah, you're going down. Oh, yeah, let's see. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Age before beauty, John. You go first. All right, Murph. Here I go. Oh, six points. Or, or maybe I could say that was five. Okay, <laughs> you got six points. Try again. Um, all right. You oh, get two more. Oh, dude. A zip. A zip for you. Oh, six and eight makes... Fourteen. Fourteen. You got fourteen points. Okay, I got to right. beat that. I go, got to beat that. Okay, you got to get your, get your bags. Oh, okay. And put the, put I'll the put tin back. back. You know, we've got this laid out in a triangle, but you can do it any way you want to. All right, Murph. Let's see what you can do. All right, here we go. Oh, two. two. Uh, uh. Nine. nine! Good job. How I much got does one that make? more, right? How much does that make, Murph? Two and nine are 11. All right. Okay, how much do I have to get to beat you? You were at 14. I was at 14. Three more, huh, to tie? Yep. Here we go. Ah! Oh, oh I don't think we can count that. You, nope. you got the first round, dude. All right. Okay, let's keep playing until I'm a winner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, All right, Murph. this is fun. Hey, we could take the game into the shade, or, or we can do some more things. Let's go. All right. Oh, wasn't that fun? It was, and it's a great way to practice math at the same time. Murph! Oh, who is that I hear? Murph, where are you? Out here, Clarice, with my friend! Oh, I can't wait! You, I, I want you to meet my cousin Clarice! Hi, Clarice. It is so nice to meet you. Oh, hi, John. It's so nice to meet you, too. I've heard so much about you. You, too. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got a phone call that I've got to take. Murph, I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay. Oh, that's okay, John. Take your time. Oh, I'm so excited. We get to visit with my cousin Clarice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that was John. What have you guys been up to today? Oh, we played a fun game. Oh, it was so much fun, but, but now I'm kind of getting hungry. Are you? Well, I'm so glad you said that because I want us to make a really fun snack. A fun snack? Yeah. Oh, did, did you bring food? Oh, I'm so excited. I did, oh, I did. And maybe we can have it ready by the time Dom gets back because, you know, he's been yeah. really, 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 really hungry today. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. This all looks so yummy. What are we making today? Well, today we're going to make some cake mix dip. It's going to be so good. And what you're going to need for this 
is one container of just softened cream cheese. That looks like yeah, about eight ounces, right? Yeah, about eight ounces. And then you're going to take about half a container of Cool Whip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're going to do about one cup of white cake mix. Right. And then you're going to have some strawberries, some sprinkles, whatever sprinkles you want. And here's some graham crackers, vanilla wafers, and fruit for the dip. Oh, oh I can't wait to get started. What are you going to do first? Well, first, I'm going to add this cream cheese into the bowl. I'm just going to go ahead and get a nice scoop of that in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And there it we go. It looks like you took that out of the fridge for a few minutes and got it a little I, bit soft. Yeah, I did. It's a really important that you do that. Then it'll mix a lot easier than if it was hard. So Okay, okay. I'm going to start with that, and I'm going to get that mixed in there. Oh, Put this good. Aside. And now I'm going to grab some of this Cool Whip. Right. Ooh, yum, 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 yum. This is delicious. You're going to put it on? Yeah, I'm going to put it on. About half of it, you said? Yeah, about half of it, right in there. Oh, there yummy for our tummies. Yes, I'm oh, so oh, Are we going to stir, stir, stir? Oh, yes, we are going to get all of this together. It's going to take a little bit of effort, but it is going to taste so good. And it is going to be really, really yummy. A great snack for like a 4th of July, like outdoor, indoor, anything, because it's nice, cool, and refreshing. Oh, yeah. And I guess you can change the sprinkle colors and change what holiday it's for, right? Oh, yeah. You, it's very versatile. You can do that. You can like have red, white, and blue for the 4th of July, or maybe like, you know, orange for Halloween, or like, yum, you yum, know, yum, yum, yum. red oh. and green for Christmas. This is, you can do whatever you want with this one. Good, good, good. Oh, is it time for a cake mix? Oh my gosh, I think it's almost time for the cake mix. Ooh. Oh, now you have to measure out. How much did you say? Just one cup of cake mix. One cup, and there is our one cup measure. Yeah. And we're gonna fold this out. I've already cut a slit open in this. You wanna make sure that if you are making this, you have a parent guide you with the scissors. Oh, All right, you're so smart. Go. I'm gonna try little to more, shake more. that. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get just right. I might have spilled just I a like little cake. bit. I like cake mix. Yum, yeah. yum. All right, that looks like just right. I'm going to fold that back down, and we are going to add this Ooh. into our del delicious dip that we're making. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm just going to add it all at once. You can add this and stir if you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and just throw it all in there. Okay. So, okay. Here we go. Oh, be careful. It's going to plop out. <laughs> yeah, it's going to. This is also just going to be a really fun experiment for me to see if I can keep this all in the same bowl. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, cousin. Thank you so much. You stir oh, it. Now stir, there. stir. Make it in circles. Stir it in circles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's gonna start to clump together a little bit, but that's gonna be okay. It's once you get it stirred really good, really well together, then you're gonna be able to kind of like dip it into it. It's gonna get give a lot of thickness with the cake dip, but it's gonna be really, really good. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, that looks perfect. Are we ready for the sprinkles now? We are. It's my favorite part. So sprinkle, we're going to do... Sprinkle, sprinkle, I have some red, white, and blue ones. I'm just going to go ahead and... Woo! I'm going to do a little bit more than you would think because we're going to mix it all throughout this dip okay, here. Okay, okay, all right. And, and, and they go. can put in as many as they like, right? Absolutely. You can totally adjust it to what you want. I kind of looks like ice cream, but it is a little bit fluffier. Oh, oh, can I have a plate? Will you make me yeah, a plate? Yeah, absolutely. May I go ahead and give you some of this? And oh, you know, I want I'm some of the star sprinkles on top. Okay, sounds good. I'll give you that. Let me just go ahead and give you a good serving. There we are. And then I have special stars on this side. Let me give you a little bit of those. Oh, oh. that looks so good. There we go. Let me get a little bit over That's here. Good. That's good. That's good. That's good? Okay. I, now, need, I need a strawberry. Strawberry? All right. Here you go, Murph. Well, put it down there. Okay. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what. You, you taste it first. Now okay, I I'll... Know. Yeah. I mean, you don't trust me? Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, Gotta get a good amount on there. Mmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yum, mm -hmm. yum, yum, oh, I can't wait to share this with John. This is really good. I really hope John likes this, but I have to go run to art class, so I'll have to see you later. Oh, okay, cuz. It's been great seeing ya. It's been great seeing you, too. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, I can't wait to share this with John. What am I talking about? I can't wait to eat this myself. Oh, oh, oh no, I think I hear John. John's coming back. I'm back, Murph. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Clarice had to run to class, though. Oh, hey, what is this? Is this food? Oh, yeah. Oh, she made a fun snack for us. Ooh, it, it's can't... called Cake Mix Dip, and we've got some dipper things, and oh, I can't wait to try it. Oh, I can't wait to try it either, Murph. This looks great. Oh, we've got our yummy snack, and now I can only think of one more thing that would be cool. 
What's that, Murph? I would like to listen to a good story. Well, you're in luck, Murph, because Miss Nancy has a new story for us. Does she? she oh does. my goodness! Oh, and we can listen and we can eat our snack. Right. It's gonna be so fun. Yep, listen oh. in, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlie and the Crayons by Nancy Phillips. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Charlie. Charlie had a pencil and liked to draw lots of pictures with it. He drew trees and elephants, houses, and cans of SpaghettiOs. He drew all kinds of things. One day, Charlie's mama said, Charlie, tomorrow we will go to the store and buy you a box of crayons, so that way your pictures can have color. The next day, Charlie and Mama went to a big store. They found many boxes of crayons. There were big boxes and small boxes, all sizes of boxes. Charlie wanted the biggest box of all, but Mama chose a medium-sized box. When they got home, Mama gave Charlie several pieces of blank paper and the brand new box of crayons. Then she sat down and began to read a book. Ooh, Charlie was so excited to open his new box of crayons. They would all be fresh and whole, no broken or scrubby ones. Then Charlie opened the box and poured the crayons on the table. He was a little surprised at what he saw, but he was so excited to have his very own box that he picked up the closest crayon and began to draw. He drew a tree, the sun, a house, a flower, and a small dinosaur. Then he colored in the sky a bit. When he was finished, he looked at the picture. Then he called to his mother. Mama, what color is a tree? Well, many people think a tree is green, but you can make it any color you want, she answered. Then Charlie asked, Mama, what color is the sun? Well, some people say it is yellow, but you can make it any color you want, Mama answered. Again, Charlie asked, Mama, what color is the sky? This time, Charlie's mama closed her book. Charlie, I usually think of the sky as blue. Why are you asking all these questions? Look at my picture, Charlie said. Mama got up and went to the table. She made a funny noise when she saw Charlie's picture. The tree was red. The sun was red. The sky was red and even the little dinosaur was red. In fact, absolutely everything in Charlie's picture was red. Um, Charlie, did you mean to make everything red? I mean, it is a great color and all, but come look out the window. So Charlie and Mama looked out the window. What color is the top of the tree, Charlie? Mama asked. Green, said Charlie. And what color is the bottom? Brown and black, said Charlie. And what color is the sky, asked Mama, pointing up. Blue, said Charlie. And you see the flowers are pink and white. The houses are different colors, and there is a tiny little bird that is black and yellow and white. You see, Charlie, all the colors work together to make a beautiful world. Charlie smiled. I know that, Mama. But come look at my box of crayons. So Mama and Charlie walked to the table. When Mama saw the crayons, she made another funny noise. <gasps> Charlie, she began. All these crayons are the same color. I know, said Charlie. The factory must have made a mistake. Tomorrow we will take these back to the store and get another box. So the next day, Charlie and Mama went back to the store. And guess what? This time, Mama picked the biggest box of crayons at the store. Charlie could not wait to get home and draw another picture. This time his tree was green, the house was gray, the sky was blue, the sun was yellow, and there was a black car and an orange dinosaur. Mama looked at Charlie's picture. 
It's beautiful, Charlie. I love how you used so many colors. Mama hung Charlie's picture on the refrigerator and Charlie felt very proud. He looked out the window. Mama was right. Many colors make the world much more beautiful. Maybe tomorrow he would draw a purple chicken, he thought. A purple chicken? The end. Oh, that was a great story. It sure was, Murph, and we've had a great show today. Yeah, uh, we want to encourage everybody to try this yummy, 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 yummy recipe yeah. at home. It's so yummy and easy, right? It sure is, Murph. You've got to try this at home, kids. And speaking of food, we need to thank Miss Jennifer with the Better Burrow Project for showing us her lasagna garden. Even though it didn't have any real lasagna in it. But they had lots of yummy vegetables. And right. we want to thank my cousin Clarice for sharing this yummy, yummy snack with us. Absolutely. Thanks, Clarice. This is yummy. Yeah, and it's so patriotic. It is very patriotic, Murph. With the red, white, and blue and That's all right. that. Did you know that there are 13 stripes on the American flag? I did know that, Murph. And each stripe stands for one of the original colonies. Murph. On the original flag, there were seven red stripes and six white stripes. Seven and six makes... Thirteen. Right, for the original colony. That's right, and the thirteen colonies were represented as stars in a circle. And every time we added a new state, we added a new star. That's right, and the last two stars were Alaska and Hawaii, and they were added in 1959. Did you know that our current flag was designed by a boy in high school? Yeah, it was part of a school project, and his design was selected to be our flag, the official flag. But guess what? What, Murph? He only got a B minus on the project. Oh, wow, what? he got a B minus. Yeah, wow, dude. But it's a great flag, isn't it? It is a great flag. He I'm did so an excellent job on that he flag. He did, he did. I'm so proud. I'm proud of all of our red, white, and blue, and I can't wait to eat more snack. Are you ready to go after it? I'm ready, Murph. <sighs> Remember, out there, dream, dream big, big and work hard. hard. I'm going to work hard on that. Oh, I'm, sure I'm going to go are. after it. Oh, no, 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 get away, get away, get away. Where's my producer? Where's my director? I want my carrot juice.